Lanina this, Lanina that. All I want to know is why did it rain so much when we were in Australia? Please tell me, ABC, what is Lanina? From long days splashing at the beach to the ongoing race between the sun and your ice cream. Now, it, this may sound silly because I know people told us bring our coats. But when we came to Australia, this is what we expected, even at the start of spring. Because what we know in the UK is that Australia is hot. I didn't even realise it gets cold, let alone rain. But no, we did have rain. We did have La Nina. Yeah, it's fair to say us Aussies love summer. Wouldn't it be weird if there was some like Pacific Ocean weather pattern came along and there was colder temperatures and heaps more rain this summer? <laughs> yeah, about that. We experienced that. We've moved into an active La Nina phase out in the tropical Pacific. Yep, La Nina is back, folks. And it's here to rain on your summer parade. As you might have spotted, if you habla espanol, oh my word. La Nina is Spanish for the girl, while El Nino means the boy. They're opposite ends of something called Enzo, or El Nino Southern Oscillation. And it's all got to do with what happens out in the Pacific and how it affects weather here. In a normal year, the trade winds blow steadily across the tropical Pacific, and by Christmas, there's usually a build-up of warm water over our neck of the woods. Warm water evaporates and brings rain, and it's why the North gets its wet season. Huh, that's interesting. I knew the North of Australia was quite tropical. Uh, I would assume that's very much the same with a lot of um, Southeast Asia as well, why, why they get the tropical seasons. Um, and there's certain times of the year that you probably don't want to go because it gets hot, but then absolute buckets down. A La Nina year is when those trade winds have gone into overdrive and there's much more warm water over here, which means, yeah, lots of rain. So typically well, that's the end of that video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Uh, we're only halfway through, but make sure you like and subscribe. La Nina brings more rainfall, particularly across northern Australia and into eastern Australia as well. And as that wets up the soils, it does increase the risk of flooding whenever we get a, a big rainfall event. I assume that, for example, in Victoria, where you've just had the flooding and possibly still having the flooding, um, because the ground gets so dry, when it's hot, um, we've experienced it this summer where we've had flooding, where the ground is so dry that any bit of water that goes onto it, it can't soak down into the soil properly. So it sits on top. So I assume that is why you get the sort of flooding you do get in Australia, because the ground is so hard and dry. When the rain does come, it can't get into, into the soil. Not good, because we experienced it this year. And, and as temperatures are warming over, over in England, it gets bad. The last time we were in La Nina, back in 2010 to 2012, it was the wettest two-year period in Australia's history. And it brought with it some pretty hectic storms, cyclones, and flooding. Pretty unreal, eh? The water would just come up so quick, like, it's just risen. But every La Nina is different, and the weather experts say this one could be a little milder. While floods are always a possibility, some are hoping this La Nina will mean less bushfire risk over summer. And for farmers, the rain is a sight for sore and rather dry eyes. We might get an above average rainfall, which will grow um, lots of grass and have fill all the dams. That is a good point. So, for example, for the, um, especially the eastern areas, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, those sort of areas, they possibly don't really want more rain. But actually, in the middle, in the outback, they probably do want rain. So it's probably quite um, contradictory to say that, you know, it's a bad thing because actually parts of Australia, it's probably great. The outback, like the kids saying, they want more grass. 
They want more grass. They want more um, the nutrients of the soil to mix with the water, you know, all that sort of chemistry and sciencey stuff. Um, but the eastern side, sides probably don't want it and don't need it. That's an interesting thought, I think. That's a really interesting thought. It's not always a bad thing. And make, make it an easier season for us next year. As you probably already know, Australia has been going through one of its worst droughts on record. And some of it has to do with La Nina's hot and dry counterpart, El Nino. El Nino happens when the trade winds over the Pacific get really weak, or even reverse. Which means Australia doesn't get its usual share of warm water or rain. Most of our driest and hottest years have coincided with an El Nino. La Nina and El Nino are a natural part of the weather, but while they usually come every two to seven years, we're never really sure when one is around the corner. But experts say we are locked into this drizzly old phase until at least next autumn. So for summer loving, beach going Aussies like myself, it might be worth packing an extra brolly for your next trip down the coast. Well, that was interesting. I said, I, I know everyone keeps saying about La Nina um, and I have no idea what it was. So just lots more rain. But maybe it's time for the Aussies to move over to England because it might be a bit warmer and nicer, nicer weather in England than it is in, in Australia. And we're going into winter. So it's what I find is actually really interesting is what it seems to be happening at the moment is now I'm going to. Yeah, it seems like Australia is getting wetter. England and the UK is getting warmer. It's, oh man, things are just getting, it's always when you see the hottest on record or the wettest on record. I, I know the records haven't been going that long, but you know, 100 plus years or whatever. Um, but it's still a little bit worrying, isn't it? It is still a bit worrying. In. And this is a natural cycle, but it's the how how extreme it's becoming, how much worse it's becoming. You know, the natural cycle's fine. We all know that. You know, there's winters, summers, you get rain, you get droughts, that's fine. But when it's that little level extra and it's getting worse and then the next year it's the, it's worse and oh, it's, it's a tough one. I, and I don't know if it's about climate change. I'm not going to say it's climate change. I don't know. Is the science there to say La, La Nina is a part of, a part of um, what the climate change. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's yeah, now I know why it was so wet when we were in Australia. Interesting. I, I, maybe you guys didn't know what La Nina was and what La Nino. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something as well as I did. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.